Are you ready to be liberated? And this is a city street. Well, the poor have been free from the cages. I got freedom in my ears. My name is Brody. I'm from Melbourne. Troy Melbourne. Troy Melbourne. I grew up on Bell Street. Then on Bell Street, my mom. It all down, while your story gets smacked off your head. Go down a drum roll, boy, you want so bad. The man himself will click the crime. Go on, pull the trigger, this will be the last time.
What's going on, world? I'm Sway with MTV News, and this week's edition of You Hear It First, where we here at MTV shine our spotlight on an up-and-coming band or act that we think you might actually like. Without further ado, it's The Distillers, a band that gives a spark to the world of punk rock, and it doesn't take the resident expert to know how much is needed. The female lead is definitely genuine, and The Distillers pick up where legends like The Runaways left off. Check this out. With a sound that captures the idealism of old school punk, the distillers are as honest as it gets. I don't feel vulnerable. I don't really give a f what people think, you know? I just, I just write whatever I'm feeling at the time. The band's lead singer, Brody Armstrong, left Australia at a young age, landing in the punk rock mecca of Hollywood, California, the eventual birthplace of the distillers. And this trio knew they had more than just music in common. They also shared similar childhood scars, which seemed to fuel the band's fire. We all kind of come from the same place, you know? Well, I think with every writer, your life experience and other people's experiences impact your writing. I mean, that's what it's all about. The band was signed to Hellcat Records by fellow label founder and rancid frontman Tim Armstrong, who also just happens to be Brody's loving punk rock husband. One thing that we've learned from Rancid is, is how to keep your family functional and not take from anybody. The Distillers are doing things their way, but this band on the rise claims that fame isn't what's important. I don't really think of, like, stardom, here we come. I just, you know, I'm happy we can play. We're playing music. That's what I want to do. And why wouldn't they be happy? Even though the band is drumming up support from groups like the Red Hot Chili Peppers, it's really dedication that keeps the Distillers on a fast track. And they plan to keep playing until the whole world is listening. Hey, I love a band that has cojones, all right? The Distillers' new album, Sing Sing Death House, is out now. And don't forget to jump over to mtvnews.com for a full feature on the Distillers, as well as the download of the complete song, The Young Craze Pilling. That's the news for now. Stay tuned for more news at 10 to the hour right here on MTV. MTV News. You hear it. First.